Hello, hello. So there is an update installed. I think we know what it is, but, and yes, I've got a new desk set up that I'm trialing. I'm not sure whether I'm keeping, I love the pink. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, let's see. All right, so let us update. I will get my pen. Oh, what is that? Look at that, that flicked off of there. That's interesting. Pop that in the bin. All right, so Remarkable Tablet is starting. As you can see, I'm in developer mode because I've just kept it on because uh, just in case you did or didn't know, the Remarkable 2 is in developer mode all the time. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just keeping it on. Here it is, it's just uploading the new, let me just check, everything's okay over here. Oh, there it is. Look, a little bit's broken off. Okay, so let me see. It still works. I think. Flat side. Charging, so that's interesting. I'm gonna investigate that. Oh, <laughs> it just flicked, the magnet flicked to it. Yeah. All right. So, let's go into my files, go into settings. So version 13.7.2, let's have a look at these notes. What a way to start the year with tools that make thinking, sketching and note taking easier, more effective, a shiny new web platform to import templates and better options when you duplicate PDFs. Well, that's amazing because we've been struggling a little bit with that. Remarkable methods, a curated collection of templates and workbooks that are tailored to your needs. These techniques inspire flow, structure and clarity, helping you transform how you lead meetings, take notes and solve complex problems with fresh methods. And you can go to methods.remarkable.com, um, launching exclusively for all Connect subscribers. So that's obviously for Connect and it's in beta, as you can see there. And I, I won't go into that today. That's a remarkable thing that they're selling. But just know that it's there. Here we go, shapes, this is amazing. Sometimes you just need to draw what you're thinking. Hold at the end of the pen stroke to create the shape you want and then scale and rotate it on the page. When you don't want straight lines and curves, toggle it off in document settings if you don't want that. So we know what this is because we use it with the iPad and other tablets all the time. The Books has it. Um, so now Remarkable has it too. Woohoo! Go Remarkable, that is awesome. Let's celebrate that. Color coded. Write in style with the sample of your selected color. Right next to the writing tools, see which ink type you're using for each brush stroke, making it easier to swap them as you go. Now, I love this. You can see this tiny little dot there. I'll show it to you in a second. Um, makes it so much easier. I was forever clicking on the thing, seeing what pen stroke I'm doing, what, you know, what color I've got. Um, which it doesn't currently tell you the width, but it certainly tells you the color. And that's amazing because of the two pens that you've got. All right, I'll show you that in a tick. And standby selection, choose between different intervals before your display shuts off. So the default is 20 minutes, but you can set it to five minutes or one hour in battery settings. Other improvements. Okay, let's just go back. Find your favorites with a new filter in search. In addition to pages and tags, go to display settings to toggle on and off. Keeping content visible while your paper tablet is inactive. Keep this in mind when you choose a new length for standby. The gesture overviews in guides shows you how to draw shapes and select below the line using your marker. So uh, in student, I'm just turning that off for a second. 
because I'm right now I just want to do this update <laughs> um, so the, let's just do battery so see here you can change that now so that's what the battery settings is so it, the default is 20 minutes if you don't want it to turn off for an hour you just select an hour does it work with the pen yes it works with the pen touch or the pen the marker um, and you can turn off standby as well so we can go 20 minutes we can go an hour we can go five minutes I'm just gonna leave it at 20 for now so that is the first one I always like to just summarize when I do this so that is we've just done standby selection let's have a look at color coded and then we'll end with shapes so color coded is let me say okay I'm just gonna go into my coloring in book and yes it is in um, I'm practicing with some uh, lighting so don't worry about that um, but you can see here that this is my highlighter pen right and and you can see I've selected yellow but so can you see the yellow there and in here we've got the shader right and I've got it on this selection yellow dark yellow and you can see that you can already see that now if I'm in um, let's go to the calligraphy pen for a second which is there and I'm in thick and I'm just let's just say I'm gonna be in blue and let's hop off so you can now see that it's blue but you can't tell it's in thick and I'll show you that because if I go to thin and hop off it it still just looks the same so what you can tell is the color um, not the weight of the line which would be lovely and so I, I'm not going to color in calligraphy but if I was coloring in calligraphy you would see the blue but you don't guys you don't want to color in calligraphy <laughs> you color the highlight is nice um, let me just get rid of that get rid of that um, if you are using Anna, we want to be in, oh, that's correct. It's a bit thick. The highlight is a bit thick for some of the pictures here, but you can use the marker and let's just put the marker in pink. You can see there you don't have to wait for it to readjust and then I won't give you coloring tips right now <laughs> because you know we're doing something else but that is the color coded so up there you can see that now that's pretty cool now you know that one of the quick gestures is you just pull down from the top whether you're in landscape or in portrait mode it still works and it will get you out of the document that you're in and yes I'm doing coloring in books as well now and they are over in my Etsy shop and on my website all right just for those that want to know because someone always asks me um, now the last one is the exciting one but let's just go back to the release notes so we've done standby we've done color coded now shapes oh, let us I'm so excited about this this is awesome um, we can just get a let's just create a new notebook it's going to put it in my home directory because that's the folder I was in and we're just going to call it la la and I always like the first page but it's up to you what you do um, we go create oh I'm on guitar chords <laughs> so if you want to change the template that's in here you just uh, go to that icon and I love blank don't know why it was on guitar chords but anyway we'll go to blank and it changes the template you can have a different template on every page 
but let us use the ever lovely calligraphy pen and I'm going to go thick so that it's easy and I'm going to go black so that it is also easy for you to see and I've been I created a shapes document so that I could make my I love um, org charts I love thinking in pictures and all the things um, and I love the calligraphy pen because it changes the weight of the stroke as you can see I love that but here's the deal now Here's the deal. Are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go. When you hold, you draw your shape and hold. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Hold for circle. Hold for triangle. And it keeps the weight change of the stroke with the calligraphy pen. Let me just show you the marker or the fine liner we're calling it. Uh, let me just get rid of my randomness we love a bit of randomness in our family i don't know about yours but okay that's on pink and i don't want it on pink i want it on black because it's too hard for you guys to see all right so uh what was i doing i'll showing you a different pen all right so triangle perfect rectangle amazing circle Yes. Now, I do think what you can do is, yeah, see, in good notes on the iPad, you can do this. You can press and hold. Once it straightens everything, you can then also rotate it, move it, make it bigger, make it smaller. Like, just do your thing, right? Now, I wonder if it does a hexagon. I'm probably asking too much, but let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, an octagon. Eight. Nope, it interpreted it as a circle. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Four sides, it can do a square, I'm hoping. Yep. And again, you can't you can't be changing it now that you've taken your pen off, right? But you can certainly change it, hold when your pen is still on there, and there's no point in turning it around because it's gonna look the same, right? It's a circle. But if I was doing a rectangle, and I, and I kept it on there and I can turn it around. You can see all that. So that is very exciting for the note-taking experience on the Remarkable. So again, gestures, you just close it like that. We'll go back there and finish up the software, the release notes. Uh, again, go to methods.remarkable.com if you are interested in a curated collection of templates and workbooks that are tailored to your needs and you are a Connect subscriber. But Shapes is revolutionary. Colour coding, this is so useful. Um, I obviously had it on beta and I was using it and I loved it. And the standby selection uh, for those that, you know, for your automatic turn off situation. I'm going to explore search and get back to you on that because every time I go and check this, I can't see any changes. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Find your favourites with a new filter in search in addition to pages and tags. So uh, let's, let's do it. Let's just do it together. Hang on. So we're back at scratch, right? We want to search. So we go to search. Now it says there's a new filter. Okay, so if I type the word coach, it shows me folder, coaching, another folder, coaching. They're in two different folders. They are within two other different folders. Um, I have a tag RM coaching in this document, the RM setup planner copy. And I have the tag RM coaching in Template Genie, which my Z, the reason the Z is there is because I have a naming convention, as we all should have for our files. I do Z, that tells me I'm not using that document anymore, but I don't want to delete it yet. So if you've heard of Tiago Alve, oh, no, he's a, he's, a, he's a fighter. He's a UFC fighter. Don't worry about that. Uh, if you've heard of the para method, then you will understand about archiving. I won't go into that here. So apparently there's another way of searching, and it doesn't appear to me straight away. Uh, favorites it's just going to show me the same stuff maybe it's referring to this I'm not sure all 
this is the same everything looks the same to me so again if anyone knows what that is please let me know i'm happy to talk about it and to update everyone else if if that's the case but always know they're always in, they're always improving things okay um and you can explore yourself whoops let me turn that back around so there it is that's that update and then i'm going to have a look at the remarkable two and do a video for that one too all right sending you all my love for 2025 let's make it a good one hey bye